Hey Kid Life, we are so excited to be hanging out with you today. Also know that some pretty cool things are happening in your life. You're back to school or homeschooling or whatever you're doing, but it reminds me of when I was your age and I was in school. Things looked way different back then. But one thing that we both have in common is we ate lunch every day. Now here's the thing. I loved two things about school. I loved recess, oh my goodness, like the jungle gym out in the playground. I love playing tag, I love playing all these fun things, but then when I played all those things, I got hungry. And what was awesome is we had recess, we had our class, and then right after that, we had lunch. When I was at lunch, it was great, but there were also some times that were not so fun because when I opened up my lunch, my little brown lunch bag, I would see some fruit, I would see some sandwiches, I'd see some, you know, just normal stuff, and like the only sweet thing I'd get was the great value smiley gummies. Now here's the thing, I never told my mom, I didn't wanna break her heart, but I hated those gummies. And I'd look around, and my friends, they're open up, they've got Christmas tree cakes, they got all these amazing little Debbie snacks, they've got the greatest stuff, and I, I'd get sad sometimes. But here's the thing, I had some really good friends and they knew I didn't like my gummies. And they'd say, hey, do you wanna trade my little Debbies for your gummies? What do you think my answer was? Of course! And when they shared what they had with me, it made my heart so happy. And here's the truth. The bottom line for today is you can share what you have. And when we do that, it not only makes other people happy, it makes us happy. Jesus said it this way, it's better to give than it is to receive. Here's one thing I know, when we share what we have with others, God's gonna give us a whole lot in return. So, I want you guys to do something for me. I want you to get ready to share your dance moves in three, two, one, go. You never turn away, you never leave my side. And every time I call your name out just to find That you're already right here with me Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start No matter what I'm facing I will trust you with my heart Trust you with my heart There are days when I feel I need a friend And then I hear your voice reminding me again That you're already right here with me Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start Trust you with my heart You are more than able To lead me through the dark Your love is never failing I will trust you with my heart Whoa, whoa, I will trust you with my heart No matter what may come No matter what I go through God, you are Never gonna fail me I will trust you with my heart no matter what may come, no matter what I go through, God, you are Never gonna fail me, I will trust you with my heart You are always faithful, you love me from the start No matter what I'm facing, I will trust you with my heart You are more than able to lead me through the dark Your love is never failing, I will trust you with my heart My heart, oh, I will trust you with my 
kid life! I am so excited to be here with you guys today to share with you a story about sharing what you have with others. But I think something's missing. I think I forgot something. Oh, yeah, I made some things to help us out. Hmm, all right, we need our Bible. Ah, we need this, but this can go right here. We'll worry about that in a second. Today, we're gonna be in the book of Luke, which is in the New Testament, Luke chapter 12. And we're gonna hear a story about Jesus when he was here on earth and he was going around and he was preaching and teaching and performing miracles. And when he would do that, he would have these huge crowds that would follow him around and would listen to what he said and watched what he did and they would raise his, their hands and ask him questions. And so our story begins with a man who was with Jesus and following him around and had a question. So he raised his hand and he said, Jesus, I have a question. And that man said in Luke 12, 13, teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. And so Jesus, I'm sure was a little confused by the question, but not really because he's Jesus. And he knew that the question wasn't coming from a place of sharing and a place of kindness with his brother, but it was coming from a place of me. He wanted more of the inheritance for himself. And Jesus replied in 14 through 15, man who appointed me a judge or an arbiter between you. Then he said to them, watch out, be on your guard against all kind of greed. Life does not consist in abundance of possessions. And Jesus, what he really liked to do when he was trying to teach a lesson is he would tell a story to help whoever he was talking to understand exactly what he was saying. And in this case, Jesus would tell a story about a rich man. And this man had a lot of crops. He was a farmer. He had all these crops and all, these land, all this land. And everywhere you could see, he had an abundance of grain. And so he had to store his grain somewhere. So he stored his grain in a barn and it was overflowing. And the rich man, he wanted more. He wanted more space. And so he started thinking, well, I have all this grain. What can I do to keep all of it or to store all of it because my barn is overflowing? So he sat there and he thought and he thought. And in Luke 12, 18 through 19, he says, this is what I will do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones. And there I will store my surplus grain. And I'll say to myself, you have plenty of grain laid up for many years. Take life easy, eat, drink, and be merry. And so that's what he did. He got a bigger barn and he took his grain and he put it all in there. and he did away with the little barn and he had an even bigger barn and he could store up even more than he already had. But God wasn't happy with this because what we receive in whether it's grain or um, something we have at home, everything we get is a blessing from God. And so instead of sharing the abundance of grain, he decided to keep it all for himself. And in Luke 12, 20, he says, but God said to him, you fool, this very night, your life will be demanded from, will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? So the rich man focused on himself and not what he could do for the others around us. But Jesus' story, it wasn't just about this one man. It was about much more than that. And let's hear what Jesus had to say in Luke 12, 21. 
This is how it will be with whoever stores up things for themselves, but is not rich towards God. And so we can learn from this story that we should be generous and share what we have with the others around us because that's what God wants us to do. Now, you remember at the beginning of our story when we had that man that raised his hand and asked Jesus that question that started off this story about the rich man and all of his grain and his barn? Well, Luke 12 doesn't exactly tell us what that man said in response to Jesus' story. So we can only guess that maybe he said, oh, I understand Jesus. I won't ask for more from my brother. Or maybe he just walked away and said, Jesus, you're crazy. I'm not going to listen to you. We can't control what he did in response to that story. But what we can control is what we do in response to the story that we heard today and what lessons that we take from that. And so the lesson that we can take from that, our bottom line, is share what you have. Because what we have is a blessing from God, even if it's as small as grain or as big as a new toy that we got for Christmas. You know, everything is a blessing from God and we are to share and to be generous because that's what God wants us to do. So let's go ahead and pray. Dear Lord, I just wanna thank you for the chance to come together today and to hear from your word, Lord. Thank you for the opportunity to hear about sharing what we have with others and learning to be generous and learning to thank you for our blessings and sharing those blessings with those around us. Lord, I just ask that you help us remember as we go through our week to share and to love others and to love you, Lord. Thank you and we love you, amen. Well, it was so much fun hanging out with you. I had a blast, I hope you did too. And it's so great that we get to do this every week. In this series, we get to learn what Jesus has to say about responsibility and what it has to do with our lives. And I love that this week and today, wherever you go, you get to share what you have with others. Hope you have an amazing week. We'll see you next time.